Hey everybody, this is Go Geronimo, and today I'm going to be sharing a tip with you on how to get a little bit more out of your horn, or at least prep it for use then, uh, because I share a video with you right here that explains what type of stuff you can get at a pet store for archery supplies, and one of them is horn. It's usually stuffed with like peanut butter or something like that, and it's a dog treat. But by nature, horn is kind of a cone shape in the middle it's hollow and at the very tip is where you get the really thick stuff I don't know if you can see that but that's what I'm talking about that's more towards the tip and because it's cylindrical flattening it helps you get more out of it you can get wider pieces by doing that and if you just simply boil it for a while it gets soft you can put in a vice grip and flatten it out. You want to let it sit for maybe 30 minutes, let it dry out, and then it, it kind of keeps its shape. Now this one I've already started, and, and you can see how it's starting to flatten out right there. That's a little bit more of a bend, so it, the more of a bend, the more you have to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this in this water. Turn it up a little bit. Wrong direction. But I'm going to turn it up a little bit and let it boil in there for a while. We'll take it out and put it in a vice grip. All right, so I let the horn boil for, you know, for a good 10, 15 minutes, something like that. Just make it really nice and soft. And then I put it in this vice and I left it in there for about two hours. I know that I said 30 earlier, but basically you wanna check it and every time you open it, does it recoil back to its original form or not? If it does, just crank it back in there. When it's fully dried, it's going to flatten out pretty significantly. You see that right there? And now that's going to allow me to use more of it because if I didn't, I would have had to basically just trim off everything that was sticking up. And now I don't have to. I can use that portion. I'm going to take it on the sandpaper wheel over there that I have and uh, finish it up but that's the end of this tutorial or this tip I guess you'd say I wanted to take a second to introduce you to a website that is pretty cool survivalistprepper.net if you have life insurance car insurance if you have anything like a, a college tuition thing for your children or whatever you're a prepper already okay so prepping is not dumb it's actually pretty smart you can learn on this website about what is bugging out? Living off the grid. Self-defense and living in the wilderness, you know, out in the wild. Uh, DIYs, you can find how to build a red oak bow on there. And a podcast if you would like to subscribe to that. So go check them out. They're pretty cool. And I have to get to my new Apple computer because we just bought it today. And I'm going to throw this video on there and do some editing. I'm freaking excited! Alright, bye.